father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to install Multiman 4.85, and this is the official release from Dank himself. And I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to install this in today's video. With that being stated out the way, I highly do recommend to go ahead and follow my social medias so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials I drop on my channel by following me on Twitter and you know subscribing to me and hitting that notification button on YouTube. You know when I drop my latest content for you guys so you'll never be out of beat when I you know drop cool videos just like this with that being stated out the way as well if you need support or you just want to join my community you could go ahead and join my official discord the link will be in the description below as showcased here on the screen not only can meet new people from the hacking scene and modding scene but as stated before if you need support whether for this topic or whether it be for the 3ds now on um, the switch vita ps4 ps3 um you could go join my discord and i will have support channels for that as well um in terms of donations for my channels of course this is purely optional so anybody you don't have to feel obligated of doing this but by supporting my channel by becoming a patreon it helps with the overall development and creating content just like this and it provides me a better method on to you know provide the best content for you guys to um showcase on youtube and stuff like that um another method if you want to do this as well in terms of donations of course like i stated before it's purely optional i do um take paypal and of course any money that i may receive from my fans and supporters will go straight back into my youtube channel as stated before it'll just help with the overall development such as you know creating videos research um even buying a console camera you know footage stuff and all of that um you know in terms of video development but with all that fun stuff getting out the way in terms of social medias discord and you know um donations let's go ahead and focus on the prerequisites for today and this is all you basically need which is not that much so and as stated before, any of the things I have will be in the download description below. So you'll need a modded PlayStation 3 that's already on custom firmware, such as Rebug 4.84 Kex. I'm just going to be using my uh, Rebug PS3 that's on 4.84 Dex. But if you're on Kex as well, it will still work if you're on 4.84. Or if you're using another 4.84 CFW or that is not like Rebug or it's just a new version of CFW for 4.85, go ahead and use that. Um, for today, of course, you need a latest version version of Multiman which is the 4.85 one so I'm gonna show you guys later on in a video on how to um, basically download it from online and you'll need a USB stick that is formatted to FAT32. With that being all out the way in terms of the prerequisites I just want to give a special thanks to Dank and all of the PlayStation 3 developers who have been creating you know great homebrew for everyone to be messing with throughout the time of the PlayStation 3 jailbreak. With all that fun stuff getting out the way let's go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PC as showcased here. Here is the website just speaking about Multiman 4.85 and it's just basically an update and it's just kind of a, you know, forum post talking about the new Multiman 4.85 for CFW. But um, if you guys want to read that, I will have this in a link in the description down below. I'm not going to go through everything since basically Multiman is the same as 4.84. It just got patched to 4.85. But if you do want to read this, I think it's, you know, pretty cool to see some of the details for this for Multiman. But what we're going to do now is just go ahead and download the multiman 4.85 download um i will have this link in the description down below so here is 4.85 right here it showcases all of the um compatibility firmwares or basically what firmwares works with multiman so it works all the way down to 3.55 up to 4.85 so all we need to do now is just install the base one and hit download right here so as showcased here multiman is doing this thing in terms of downloading um, once it's fully downloaded for me what we're going to do is plug in our usb and then transfer it over to our fat32 usb stick Alrighty, so as you see here, Multiman has successfully now downloaded. What we need to do is just go to our downloads folder or wherever you have Multiman downloaded. Just go ahead and drag it out to your desktop right here. So here is Multiman 4.85. What we need to do now is go ahead and plug in our USB stick that is formatted to FAT32. So just plug it into your computer. Here is my um, USB stick right here. What we need to do to verify your things on FAT32 first, 
before we transfer over Multiman is by right clicking, going into properties, and in your file system, it should state that it's on FAT32. Let's say um, if it's on NTFS or it says XFAT in your properties, what we need to do is reformat your hard drive since PlayStation 3s cannot read those two uh, file systems. So it can't read XFAT and it can't read um, NTFS. So what we're going to do now is go to Sony or whatever your USB is, go into format. And basically in your file system right here, make sure your capacity is the highest it can go. If it's on NTFS or XFAT, just go to FAT32. Um, allocation unit size, make sure it's default. Um, volume label, that's what your name of your USB is. I'm just going to leave mine to Sony. You can name it anything. And make sure quick format is toggled and then hit start. But before you hit OK, um, if you do have any uh, important documents or files on your USB drive, make sure to go back it up before it is processed only due to the fact um, if you do it, it basically will erase all your uh, data off your drive clean and you won't have any data. So make sure if it's just like a new USB and you don't care about it and you want to format it, then go ahead. But um, if you do have important documents, make sure to back them up to either like a cloud, another USB or on your computer for now. But assuming that you guys, um, you know, did that step and then hit OK, it'll take a little second and then you get a notification window stating that the um, tr basically it has um, formatted to FAT32 or it says success or something like that on along those lines then you could just go ahead recheck here go on to properties and then your USB should state that it's on FAT32 so assuming that you guys are on FAT32 and you have your USB all you know formatted into the correct way all we need to do is take our multi-man um, PKG put it to the root of our USB right here and then once that is fully done what we need to do is just go ahead and X out our USB Go to our hidden icon right here. Go into this one where it says safely remove hardware and eject media. And we need to find the one that has our USB in it. So here's mine right here. I already know it's labeled Sony. So all I'm doing is basically removing my hard drive or excuse me, my USB so we won't have any corrupted data. So what we're going to do now is go to the PlayStation 3, plug in our USB with um, Multiman in it, and then successfully install it to our systems. Alrighty guys, so we're back on the PlayStation 3 as showcased here. What we need to do now is make sure your USB is already plugged into your system, of course. And what we need to do from here is go into Package Manager, Install Package Files, go to Standard, and now you should already be able to see Multiman. If you didn't, that means your USB is either not working or it's not formatted to the correct format as showcased earlier in the video. So make sure your thing's on FAT32. But if you already see Multiman 4.84 in your PKG file, just go ahead and hit OK over it. And now what should happen is going to basically install either over your older firmware or excuse me, not older firmware, older version of multi-man, or if it's your first time installing it, then it's just going to install like normal. So once it's um, fully done, what we're going to do is just go run the program just like any other homebrew on your PlayStation 3. So hopefully it won't take too long as showcased here. All right, so it's done. Now um, you should see Multiman right here. All we gotta do is just go ahead and boot into it. Alrighty guys, so as showcase here, here is Multiman now running successfully on the PlayStation 3. So just wait for it to do its thing. It's basically just installing some data. So it won't take too long, maybe like 30 seconds of your life. But um, once it's fully done, what I'm going to go ahead and showcase that, you know, some stuff is working on Multiman. On this PlayStation 3 in particular, I am using, I don't have any, you know, games or ROMs, I don't think, on it. So let me see real quick. So here is Multiman. It may like stutter and freeze for like a little second since it's just initializing the data since it's a new thing. But once it gets kind of through like the initial setup, I'll stop doing that. So I showcase on the screen, you can see like my stuff is freezing low key, but it's fine. So just waiting for it to um, basically get out of limbo. Alrighty, so yeah, here is it basically getting out of limbo for some odd reason. I don't know why it does that. It could just be like, I don't know, installing data in the background. But as shown here, um, you can see Multiman is now fully working. I think I have one game um, actually on my hard drive. So let me go ahead and run it now. 
And alright guys, as showcased here, you can see that Multiman has successfully loaded up this game or mounted it. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and load up the game right now. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, here is Gran Turismo 5 now running successfully while it booted up from Multiman itself. So if you guys, you know, as you can see that Multiman is now fully working on my Joe Broken system. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, make sure to share. Um, with that being all out the way, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.